G'day folks, this is more of an informational video as fixing the problem is very self-explanatory. Have you ever launched your DJI Spark and you get this message up on the screen? So the reason I'm making this video is more just about why it's there. Uh, some people get confused and usually it appears after you've updated the firmware and uh, you might update your firmware, you might fly your drone, you might fly a couple different batteries and then all of a sudden you go to boot it up a third time and you know with a new battery and you get that message and it can be very confusing because you know it's been working fine usually when you get that message it's because the firmware in the battery needs to be updated and you get that because you know you might have four batteries and you've been flying two batteries or three batteries consistently you never get around to that fourth one when you do finally get it in it hasn't been updated yet and it'll pop that message up on the screen so yeah these batteries do have firmware so I'll just do a little bit of a demonstration here just so you can see what's going on. So I have just purchased some new batteries. So this is a brand new battery that I've put in here. All my firmware on the Spark is up to date. The firmware on my controller is up to date. So we're going to power on the Spark. We are going to power on the remote. So now I will connect to my Spark remote and we'll launch the DJI app and it's going to be checking version information and here you can see that we have inconsistent firmware found so that's because this is a brand new battery and I have flown this thing since I've updated my firmware but because I've put a brand new battery in there the battery needs to be updated so all you do is just slide over and this will take anywhere from two to three minutes. So it's a good idea, you know, if, when you update your firmware, definitely go through all your batteries, put them in one at a time, and uh, update the batteries at the same time because you don't want to be out in the field and, uh, you know, you have to do this to all your batteries. Waste your time, plus it's wasting battery power while it's doing the update when it could be up in the air. You'll also notice while it's doing the update, you'll just have two lights on the spark and there's a spark rebooting and we should get a notification up top here that the update was successful there update complete and we can now start flight so yeah, like I said, this was more of an informational video, if that has been confusing you. I know I've seen in some other forums and different online groups that people were very confused by why they were getting that message after they've already done a firmware update and have been up in the air a few times. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you were thrown off by that message, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.